Welcome to Horse Talk. I'm your host, Jason Vance. Joining me today is Kate Pullis, a graduate assistant at the University of Nebraska. Today we are going to discuss writing aids. And Kate, what is the purpose of writing aids? Writing aids are a way to communicate with your horse. So what are some types of writing aids and, and how do they work? Well, there are, there are about two different types of writing aids. Um, the first one would be natural writing aids. There are four, na four natural writing aids. You have your seat, your legs, your voice, and your arms or your hands. And you would use them each differently um, when asking your horse to do something. Um, for instance, if you're using your legs, they would move away from the pressure of your legs or um, your voice if you are communicating them through a cluck or a kiss. Um, as just an example, they would be able to respond and know what you are asking of them. Now, there are also non-natural writing aids. Talk to us a little bit about artificial aids. So, artificial aids are basically um, just an extension of the natural writing aids that you have. Uh, for instance, um, spurs are an extension of your legs or you have uh, crops, or a martingale, or even just reins could be a form of the artificial writing aid. So just another extension um, of your natural writing aid that you can use to just communicate with your horse. So a lot of the writing aids, as they're called, are things that we really do when we're writing without thinking about it, isn't it? Right, so for instance, um, using your seat, you're not really thinking about um, how all the time, you might at some point in times, but you won't always think about how you're using it, And but it is telling your horse what you're about to ask them to do. Um, we lighten our seats sometimes when we want to go to a faster speed, or we might um, put a little bit more weight into our seat, and it kind of tells them to slow down on some occasions. So they, they're, they're able to kind of listen to us and um, anticipate what we're going to ask of them so without us even beginning to start asking. And you mentioned, you know, hands as, as part of it, which really, you know, seat is obvious and, and hands are too, really, when you're writing, you know, you use them without thinking a lot of the time. Right, right. So sometimes um, as we're writing, we'll be adjusting our reins or just the little movements it can really tell the horse what you're about to ask and what you're about to do. So they're a lot smarter than we give them credit for, and they really listen to every bit of us when we're writing. Which you mentioned the fact that, that uh, really you should probably use the natural writing aids before moving on to uh, artificial aids. Correct, so um, when we're using our natural aids, um, we would want to think about using them first before we move on because it's really important just to know the horse because every horse is different. So we try to use our natural aids first since we aren't really thinking about it and we try to get them to do what we want first with those before we move on. Do you have any advice for riders about using riding aids and, and what they should be doing? Um, just starting with the natural aids first. Um, and really focus on the different ways you can use those natural aids before moving on to the artificial.